Someone send this gene therapy that is News of a promising cell. treatment for sickle cell disease has Lanare Tunji Ajayi feeling hopeful. This is amazing news. This is great. So this is my family. Too. She's dedicated her life to advocating for people with the blood disorder. Her sister lives it, and her brother died from it. He used to say, I look for a day when no one will have to suffer anymore from the complications of sickle cell disease. Now approval in the UK of the first ever treatment in the world using the gene editing tool CRISPR for two genetic blood disorders, sickle cell anemia and thalassemia. I think it's a huge deal. First, stem cells are taken from a patient's bone marrow. Then in a lab, the CRISPR tool is used to remove the problem part of the gene. CRISPR is almost like a precise pair of scissors that can cut DNA in a specific area, allow us to modify um, the gene of interest and then to sew it back up. In clinical trials, 97% of sickle cell patients who underwent treatment lived pain-free for up to one year. Sickle cell disease is a genetic condition that is often characterized by pain, organ damage, reduced lifespan. Current treatments include medications, blood transfusions, or a stem cell transplant. Even as we look forward to exciting new treatments for this disease, we also have to think of how we can make them accessible. This new treatment could cost as much as $2 million, and long-term research is needed. Still, there's hope this therapy could lead to other breakthroughs. Virtually every single gene disorder where the variation is known, you can use these techniques to try to correct them. It's not clear if or when the new treatment will be available here, but it is under review in Europe and the U.S. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.